Hi guys. So I don't have a fragrance review today, but I do have some fragrance news. And it is about uh, the fragrance 1 million. And coming in September, this fragrance will finally be available in the U.S. market in stores. And that store is Sephora. They will have the exclusive on this fragrance um, in September. And I imagine it'll be early September, hopefully like the first or second week. And I'm so excited because this fragrance has been all around the world and it's only been available on one website here in the U.S. And not everybody's wanting to buy blind, so coming in September you won't have to. And uh, this fragrance is still one of my favorites and, and like in my top five fragrances that you can still buy. I mean top five like fab fragrances for me. This one and well the others so... Just to go down the list, I made the list of my other ones, just in case you're wondering what are the others. Um, the first one for me is uh, most recently put into my top five list is the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. God, I just love that fragrance. Mmm, that is good stuff. Um, followed by Mousse Gravageur, um, One Million Coming in Third, and Yope Fourth. Believe it or not, I still like Yope after all these years. It To me, it just... It's, I just love that smell. And uh, The Dreamer from Versace is number five. So it's right here in the middle of my top five list. I, this fragrance, I just love it. I've already reviewed it. Um, there's a video for it. You have to scroll down probably almost halfway down, and you'll see the video for um, my review on this fragrance. It will launch with Lady Million, uh, the women's version of this that's coming out. So that will be great. Um, this, I think this fragrance will do very well. I think this was a, a smart move for Sephora. So, um, and I do work for Sephora. Um, if you hadn't already figured that out by now. So, um, that's um, how I have the heads up on this exclusive launch. And um, let's see. In other notes, um... I do have a trip planned for London in September, and the last time I was at London, in London, I was able to find iceberg fragrances at Harrods, and I looked at Harrods' website, and I no longer see iceberg, and I'm looking for their newest fragrance, um, Iceberg, the fragrance for men, I believe is what it's called, and I'm wondering where in London can I get that now? Um, so if anybody lives over there, I'd love to know who sells Iceberg, um, because I really want to check that out when I go over there, so, because none of the Iceberg fragrances are available here in the U.S., and like I said, you find some random ones on some, some websites, but, um, nothing that's, you know, you can smell in person, so, um, yeah, if anybody knows where Iceberg is, I'd love to know, um, and... Tyra's tail. This is Tyra, the other, other Tyra. That's a good girl. Um, and let's see what else. Because I plan on hitting up, you know, Harrods, um, Selfridges, um, Harvey Nicks, and there was another store. Was it Fenwick's? I believe. Uh, the, uh, department store there in London, so, um, to check out fragrances, so, um, but like I said, Harrods used to have Iceberg and they no longer do, or at least it's not on their website, so, anyhow, would love to know about that, um, anyhow, um, 1 million September U.S. market in Sephora, and, um, I think that is all I have for you today, so, um, I'll talk to you later, thanks.